not much is known about it, and oftentimes women suffer in silence. Painful period since I started my period when I was younger, a teenager. And then from there, it just, you know, kind of pro it progressively got worse as I got older. I got to the point where I almost couldn't function and was like, okay, this isn't just painful periods. This is something more than that. It was between 60 to 70 percent of patients with endometriosis in our study that responded to a questionnaire saying that they were dismissed by a doctor, a family member, when they talked about their symptoms. March marks Endometriosis Awareness Month, which you may not know, but about one in 10 women actually have this illness. Endometriosis is a disease when tissue that normally lines the uterus actually grows outside onto other organs. Unfortunately, there's still much to learn about the disease, which is why some family or doctors chalk it up to period pain a big misconception for young girls and adults suffering with a chronic condition. It's a tricky disease. The severity does not correlate with disease symptoms. So you could have very severe disease and have very mild symptoms. And then there are some people who do not have symptoms at all, and they learn about their diagnosis in an infertility workup or even in a C-section the only way to know if you have the disease is by surgery. But one study is hoping to change that. Since 2017, researchers at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research studied menstrual blood as a way to diagnose the condition no surgery needed. After years in the making, this team found a way. So we focused on two aspects of endometriosis. The first is the lack of tolerable treatments. And the second is the long delay between symptoms and diagnosis. We really pioneered studying menstrual effluent in the setting of any condition and was really only studied for uh, regenerative medicine purposes. The study has 1,800 participants nationwide, including this 36-year-old West Coast native. I've been in the Indo world for a while now because I... I've been struggling with infertility for about 14, 15-ish years. So a long period of time for me. They send you a kit and it has specific instructions on how you're going to collect the sample with a diva cup. You have the little vial, the cooling packs, you freeze them, pack that puppy up and you mail it out. Would you recommend it to another patient or a woman, let's say, who's you're just casually talking to about this and, hey, why not? Oh yes, I'm excited that this study is gonna to contribute to revolutionary paradigm shifts where no longer are women gonna be dismissed, told, well, that's a serious problem, I don't wanna diagnose you, whatever, or like you have to go get surgery, which is intense and expensive, you know, and they could know what the problem is and then we can get better at treating them. And for women interested in joining the effort, the team is recruiting for the trial's next phase. We look for healthy controls as our comparison group, women who have diagnosed endometriosis, as well as women who are symptomatic and are thinking about having laparoscopic surgery. For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.